Hello everyone, welcome back to my video math tutorials. I am Marian BBBs from ECD Mathematics 1A. So for today's video, our topic is all about the Pythagorean Theorem or Pythagoras Theorem. So first, let's define the Pythagorean Theorem. In a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the legs of the triangle is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So, the sum of the squares of the legs, or which is the perpendicular on the base, is equal to the hypotenuse. And we just to remember that the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle and the opposite of the right triangle. Then, we just also remember that the formula of the Pythagorean theorem is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, which is c represents as hypotenuse and a represents as opposite and b represents as adjacent. So, we just simply define in this figure. If our angle is here, our opposite is is in this one and our adjacent is here and also our hypotenuse is this one and our right triangle can found here or which is this is letter a our opposite and letter b our adjacent and letter c our hypotenuse then note c is the longest side of the triangle a and b are the other two sides then let's proceed on the example so we have example one so in this figure we have if our angle is here so our opposite is 5 and our adjacent is 12 so our hypotenuse is missing so that how can we find this missing value so for that we use the formula of the Pythagorean theorem. So we have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So we put the value of the opposite and adjacent. So we have c squared is equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared which is our a is 5 and our b is 12. Then let's simplify the 5 squared plus 12 squared. So the answer is 5 squared is 25 and 12 squared is 144. Then add the two values which is 25 and 144. So the answer is 169. So this is the perfect square. If we find this into the square root, the answer is 13. Okay, so our missing value of hypotenuse is 13. So another example, we have the example number 2. So if our angle is also confined here, so our opposite is 9 and our adjacent is missing value and our hypotenuse is 15. So that this is the right triangle and the opposite is the hypotenuse. So we find the missing value of the adjacent. So we use the formula of the Pythagorean theorem which is the c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So if we put the value of the hypotenuse in the opposite, we have the 15 squared is equal to 9 squared plus b squared. So that our c squared is the value of the, our hypotenuse and 9 is the value of our opposite and the missing value is the adjacent so 15 squared is equal to 9 squared plus b squared so let's simplify this one so we have the answer 225 is equal to 81 plus b squared and transpose the positive 81 to the left side so we have B squared is equal to 225 minus 81. 
So our positive et1 it become negative et1. Then subtract the 225 minus 81. So the answer is 144. So if we find this into the square root, the answer is 12. So the 144 is the perfect square so that our answer is 12. Then our missing value of our adjacent is 12. Okay? So this will be the end of my video math tutorials and I hope that you have learned something on how to solve the missing value of each side. So again, if you do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.